Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another tutorial of Unity. Today we are going to see how to generate off mesh link in navigation. Off mesh link is generally used to jump from one nav mesh to another nav mesh. You can also use off mesh link for jumping within a nav mesh. For example, if you want the player to jump down from a height, you can use off mesh link. So for demonstrating off mesh link, we'll be using two planes here. So we have plane 1 and plane 2. So let's go ahead and create navigation mesh for them. Let's select both the planes. Go to navigation. Set them as navigation static, workable. Agent radius will not worry about that because we will not be moving the agent here. Uh, we'll go to bake. And slope and height will leave it as it is. Then let's bake the nav mesh. So as you can see, uh, we are having two nav mesh here. Unity has two options for creating an off mesh link. One is uh, generating them automatically. The other option is to do it manually. So for example, you want to create off mesh link between these two planes. If you want to generate off mesh link automatically, select both your planes, check generate off mesh link, go to bake. You have to give the drop height and the jump distance. So let's say jump distance will be 10 and drop height will be 5 and let's bake as you can see uh, no off mesh link has been created that is because for unity to create the off mesh link automatically the planes should be of the same height so for example this plane is at 0 0 0 whereas plane this plane is at uh, y minus 1.85 so let's make this as 0 so now let's select the planes go back to navigation give big uh, so off mesh links are generated so these links are called jump links for the jump links to be created automatically both the planes should be of the same height now let's try creating drop links so for drop links one of the plane should be below the other plane so let's move it as you can see there should be some overlapping surface otherwise jump links will not be created so let's go ahead select both the planes hit big so these are jump links remember if you don't see these circles then the player will not navigate the off mesh link now let's see how to create off mesh link manually generally in cases like where the plane is below the other plane but not exactly below this something like this in that case you cannot automatically create an off mesh link so for that just uncheck generate off mesh link go to bake and bake your navigation meshes so you have two mesh here now create two game objects empty game objects so let's call this position one then Place the game object where you want the off mesh link to be connected. So this will be your start point. So let's create one more. So let's duplicate and go back. This will be your position. Two. Now select one of these two positions, which will be your start position or the end position and click on off mesh link. So as you can see this will have two options a start position and a end position so just drag and drop these to the start and the end positions so now if you go to navigation there is an arrow but as you can see there there is no circle here that means this off mesh is not connected to the navigation mesh so in order to connect it make sure both this position that is minus 1.87 and your position 1 minus 1.87 is same similarly we will do that for the other plane also which is plane 2 is at 0 so this also will be at 0 so now if you go to navigation uh, I still don't see a circle so the next option is to just select it move it around a little bit until you see a circle So there you go you see a circle there similarly move the other position until you see the circle 
uh, this will be very minute difference so you have to look, move it very slowly okay so now we have an off mesh link the advantage of having a manual off mesh link is you can have the planes at different heights and it, it is not necessary that the planes are on top of each other so this is how you create an off mesh link so if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment box below see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share